Hello people, welcome back to Beauty Jam. First of all, I want to apologise for the spots on my face. I forgot my my spot cream on holiday, so I've had two weeks of no cream, which then brings the spots to come back out. So I apologise for that. I also apologise for my hair. It's going to be incredibly greasy. I have no bathroom for the next month, probably. So yeah, I've got the workers in leader in the bathroom, so I can't wash my hair because I have no shower. I'm washing it in the kitchen sink, which never works. So yeah. <sighs> anyway, what we're gonna be doing this week is monthly favorites. June has finally gone, thank goodness. I have hated this month. This month has been dreadful, honestly. Dreadful. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna share with you some of the things I have actually been loving this month and shed a light of positivity on it. Not going to happen, but I'm going to try. First thing, first thing I have been loving is these glasses. Now, I don't know whether you'll be able to see this, but they are gold. They are rose gold as well. They are mirrored. But if you look this side, I hope you can see this. They are actually blue, which I think is absolutely incredible. And they make you look really cool. Look. Coolness plus 100 of these glasses just make you do. They come in all different colours. They're only £2. I got them off eBay. And they come in like black, spicy grey. Like, you know, all the mirrored like ones, you know. But I got the rose gold, obviously, because I'm cool. <laughs> I'm not cool. But, you know, I um, wanted the rose gold. They just looked the best, in my opinion. So I did. And if you look downwards on it, I don't know whether you'll be able to see that. But if you look downwards, they actually look just gold, which is great. I love them. So that's the first thing I've been loving this month. Obviously, I took these on holiday and things, so I've been using them a lot. Plus, it is actually really nice in the UK. Not Maybe not when this video goes up, but this weekend that I'm filming this, it's really nice in the UK. So you can get your glasses out, and I thought these were great. And they're only £2, you can't complain. So that's the first thing that I've been loving this month. The second thing is the Aloe Sensitive Vaseline Antiperspirant. I have to be really careful like what I use because I don't know, sometimes, mm, when I was younger, about 13, did I click record, record on the mic? I hope I did, yeah I did. When I was about 13, I had eczema everywhere. I used to have eczema when I was younger. I didn't get rid of it till I was about 17 or 18. It was, it was a prolonged thing. Um, I had it on the backs of my knees, I had it on my elbow crease, and I actually had it like where my arm crease is as well, here and on the back. And it was dreadful. All where, all where you crease, apart from my wrist and ankles, all where you crease was where I had eczema. I don't know why, it might have just been my skin rubbing together or sweat or what, I don't know why, I just did. And um, it took a very many years to get rid of it to be honest, because what used to happen is in the winter it would go and then when the summer came it would just flare up so i do think it had something to do with the sweat maybe i don't know but i ended up having to go to the doctors and go on several different creams in order to try and get rid of it but now i have to be very careful same with body washes i have to be careful what i use if it's got um perfume in then i usually only use it on like my legs and my tummy because the eczema that was behind my knees went years ago it went it probably went on the first set of cream i tried that went ages ago but the ones on my arms and my my i don't know what to call this what's this my shoulder crease my armpit would not go it just would not go and i have to be very careful like what i use now but this is no percent alcohol and it's also got aloe sensitive too so I've been loving this because it's really good and I usually find, like with most that have got no alcohol, you usually find they leave the white marks, they're not very good, but this one doesn't leave any white marks and it is really nice. Also, I was on holiday, obviously I took this with me, I was on holiday, I shaved my armpits, <laughs> this is a lovely video, I shaved my armpits and I used this straight after, I'd literally just come out the shower and shaved no stinging zero stinging so that in itself says something so yeah i've really been loving this this month and it's been my 
it's been a lifesaver, really, especially with being abroad too. Like, you do sweat a lot. So it's been literally a lifesaver this month and I've been loving it, definitely. And it's in a little travel size too. You can get the bigger ones, but this was a little travel size. Yeah. The third thing they are mainly to do with holiday, I'm just going to point out now. The third thing that I've been loving is the Malibu 15 SPF sun lotion. I use another brand, I don't use Malibu, but this year I decided to get this because it was in a pack. It was a big pack, £5 for the sun lotion, this size, and an after sun, this size, and a frisbee, a Malibu frisbee. So I was like, you know what, that's really worth it, I'm going to buy it, so I did. Uh, this is practically all gone now, I used it for two holidays. That is in itself bad, in a way, because I've literally got about that much left, and I've used it for two weeks. So I don't know whether I use too much or whatever, but mm, this is 400ml anyway, and it's 15 SPF. I know some of you might be like, 15? What? But that's what I use, because I find that if I use anything else, that it doesn't work as well. So I have to use 15. But um, if you've got sensitive skin, like I don't, I do have sensitive skin eczema wise, but sun wise I don't really have sensitive skin, like you know. So if you tan, then I would say use this, but if you burn, then I would definitely say don't use 15, use higher, because you burn, you know, but I don't burn, not usually, so I use 15. But I can just say this is really nice, it's really good, it, it, it covers everywhere, like the one I had before, you used to have to use loads just to get every part covered, but with this I didn't have to, I just used to put it on my hand and just rub that's me putting sun cream on. I just used to rub everywhere and it just covered it. It was great. So I would definitely recommend getting Malibu if you're going on holiday this year. The SPF is up to you, you know, it's up to you. I'm not going to say what you can use and can't use, but yeah. And it says it's water resistant. I don't really trust that. I'm not going to say it isn't water resistant because I don't know. But whenever something like this says water resistant, I don't trust them. Because I think if I've been in the pool, it's going to have washed off. Like it's going to have. So whenever you've been in the pool, just make sure you, you put some back on, even if it says it's water resistant. Because you can just, you just never know. You never know. It might not be. So uh, I always put some more. Maybe that's why I've got so little left. Maybe. So yeah. That's a definitely another favourite, and it stopped me from burning. I haven't burnt this year. I didn't burn. The only thing that burnt was like this bit here, like my parting, you know. That burnt really bad, um, but that was my fault because number one, you can't put sun cream there, and number two, I didn't wear my hat. So that was my fault completely, not blaming Malibu. So yeah, definitely, this has been a favourite. And the last thing I've been loving this month is kind of a weird one. I hope this is okay to mention, but... It's silicone nipple covers. <laughs> now the reason that I got these was because last year, last year I went to Spain, and I've never thought about this before, I never usually struggle with this before, but last year I went to Spain and I burnt, I've just said I don't burn, but I burnt the tops of my shoulders because I didn't put no sun cream there, my fault once again. Um, which meant I then, for the rest of the week, couldn't wear a bra. Now do you know how hard it is to wear summer clothes but not a bra? It is impossible. I had to go around wearing bikinis all day every day because I couldn't wear my bra because the straps were digging into where I burned and I was just crying. So this year I thought, oh man I've dropped off. I thought I'm not doing that again so I'm just gonna buy some silicone nipple covers and then that way I don't have to wear a bra and you know what genius I did not wear a bra all week and it was great I didn't have to worry about anything I didn't have to pack bras I didn't have to remember to repack bras I just didn't wear them and it was great honestly I'm gonna I'm 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 might considering never wearing a bra again with these because they are so good so good and I love them and I could wear all my not see-through tops but you know summer tops they're just a bit mm, like thinner they're just thinner material aren't they so you can see through them more so I wore all those tops didn't have to worry about a thing I didn't have to consider burning my shoulders or anything like that it was just great it was great honestly 
So, if you are going on holiday and you're worrying about bra straps and things like that, or you're just worrying about bras in general, I would highly recommend getting some silicone nipple covers. I know it seems weird, and it seems weird to talk about with people as well, like I feel uncomfortable talking about this, but I've used them, I love them, it was great, so I've got to share it, do you know what I mean? Especially on holiday. I mean, I'm not obviously I'm wearing a bra now. I wouldn't just wear these all day every day, although I would love to. I really would love to. But I do feel like perhaps it would be a bit unhygienic to wear the same nipple covers all day every day. You do wash these. You can wash them. You you run them under warm soapy water. Is it soapy? Let me just check. Blah 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 blah. Yeah, warm soapy water. You, you put them in and then they, you let them dry naturally and then you put them back on this so that the sticky doesn't go. So you do wash them, but I just still feel like it would be unhygienic. That's like having one bra and washing it every day. I don't know, it just seems really weird. So yeah, but definitely recommend these. I know it looks a little bit see-through, but they actually aren't. When they're on your breast, they aren't see-through. You can't see anything. Um, so yeah, I definitely recommend getting some of these. You can get them in different shapes, you can get them in flower shapes as well. So, it's up to you. But I just got the plain circle ones, because I just want, I just wanted to cover my nipples. I didn't want, I'm not wearing like a top that shows part of my nipple, so I need a flower one to make it look all nice. I was just wearing just, I just didn't want to wear a bra, basically. So yeah, definitely recommend getting some of these. And yeah, that's it. That's what I've been loving this month. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, yeah, I'm glad this month's over. Honestly, I've had the worst month ever. But I'll talk about that another time. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe for more videos from me. And I will see you next time. Bye.